So with Parallog, I can also quickly and easily edit curve data. I can open up a log plot here for this particular well, and I can see that it has some gaps. Uh, if I move up further, it has some more gaps here, and it possibly is off depth. So what we're going to do first is we're going to patch it. So if I go over here and I select the curve I'd like to patch, I can either select it from the header or from the log plot itself. So we're going to call this GRED for edit. Um, right now I'm going to do what's called a stream. I can basically hold the mouse down and uh, draw between those two points as I move up. This one I can just do a point. Point there and here. Um, break. And I can move up and if I see any other uh, regions that need to be patched I can fix those. So it looks okay. Uh, we're going to continue calling this edit, save it, and we'll exit. I can save this information to track uh, what edits I've done to the log plot. Now let's double check our depth shifting. So let's depth shift to gamma ray. Uh, to follow my alias table, I'm changing the name to GRDS. And I'm going to select the reference, which is my deep resistivity. And I can see here it's slightly off, slightly. And up a little further, this may be off. So let's first select where it is on depth here. I like that there. Move this down a little bit more. And you can see I can basically match it with other logs in my log plot space. So maybe I need to compare here. So I want to match that tip there. And there you go. You can see I just depth shifted that. This seems a little bit off. And right here, this doesn't seem right. So what we're going to do is find another region where it matches. That looks fine. And I can see where that point exists with that dot there. I can match that up. After I've done that, I can commit it. And when I exit, it will ask me if I want to save it. I can save this step shifted table to my database for that particular well to keep track of the changes that I